Hello YouTube, this is World of War Black Ops Pro, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to spawn trap, because, you know, I mean, a lot of people want to spawn trap, but spawn tracking is actually a combination of a skill and strategy, really, kind of what camping is, but I'll get into more of that later, but uh, as you can see here, I am using the 115 weaponized camo, it's different, like, yeah, I'm different. it's different from my normal gold camo, I mean, Typically, I don't use DLC camos like this, but I thought it would be nice for a change just to look different and everything. So, yeah, so I'm running it here. So, in this game, I do go 101 and 1, and I take a very stupid death. You, you'll see during this gameplay. I actually died, be my own Claymore kills me. Yeah, it's pretty stupid, but, uh, yeah, let's go, we'll go more into the gameplay here. So, the, one, the first thing you want to do when you're spawn trapping is I'm not, I'm not sure if I follow this rule or anything in this gameplay, but. You typically want to wait until you get your first orbital. Your team gets your first orbital. I mean, I mean, because the goal you want to push up as quickly and efficiently as possible. You don't want to be taking a ton of deaths trying to get to your spot. Another thing about pushing up is you have to work as a team. You can't one person can't just go off on their own and do their own thing. They have to. They have to. They have to make a. They have to push up together as a team. I mean, not necessarily all at once, but they have to be working over there. Like, the, you can't have one guy going up and then, like, five guys sitting at the back of the map. I mean, that's not going to work. And to, to do the Nuketown spawn trap, especially on that side of the map, you need at least four people. You need the left side, you need the garage, you need the kitchen, and you need the, the, the chimney. Because if, if if no one's at those spots, then you can be easily flanked. For example, garage and left side can be flanked by by kitchen. If no one watches the kitchen, they can come through the front door and just turn on and just get... get easy kills but um, yeah so you you do have to make sure that you have people to cover those sides like for example if you're in garage you have to make sure you have someone covering left and kitchen at the same time you're covering garage you, you gotta do that otherwise you, you're likely to be killed off of a streak or something because once the enemy gets killed by you a few times they're gonna know you're, you're where you're camping at so they're gonna they're gonna be back they'll, they'll be back and then uh yeah number two just be like another thing is you gotta be very cautious when when uh coming in that spawn like to camp there he kind of pushed up a little too fast to, and what i'm doing is i'm kind of staying back and beyond my shield playing taking out some people and then going up and that's what you gotta do you gotta make sure the coast is clear before you before you actually do anything and preferably like you'd be using an lmg and when you use an lmg you have a lot of ammo but you do need a i would recommend you have your magazine full before you start pushing in their spawn because a lot of the LMGs have like seven, eight second reload times, and that's that's a long time to call dude. It's a long down time, so you gotta make sure you have 100 rounds in it or a close to 100 rounds. Like nothing less than 90. Or, I wouldn't recommend running into their spawn with less than 90. So anyway, yeah. Once you get there, you gotta put down your shield. You gotta put down your shield. But you gotta have your shield out when you're there, cause you you wanna block as much gunfire as you can. And then when you get to your spot, just put it down and set it up. Yeah, and then that's how you do it. But and then you, yeah, you just gotta sit. You do, when uh, so you gotta put your shield in an area that the right angle. Oh, I said, there's my claymore that I put down. It eventually gets me killed later on. I didn't have that. This could have been a flawless. See, the enemy will get pissed. You do have to place your shield in a logical location, at the right angle, so you can't get hit by bullets. Also, another thing, guys, I wouldn't recommend draining your magazine all the way to zero. I know I do maybe a few times in this gameplay, but it's always best to leave them maybe 20 rounds in there just in case someone sneaks up on you. You can you can cancel quickly cancel reload and kill them. If you have zero ammo, you have to do the full reload before you can get any more bullets on target. And here, yeah, you can see they flank here and they got camp. See, see here, look, look, I'm like, oh crap! Look, look, and they they hacked my equipment. You see that? So I mean, had I gone out there a few seconds earlier, maybe ran into the house and reloaded there. I mean, that that would have been Protect better. But so here's the camp gods gameplay. He does pretty well overall. He doesn't. He does not. The only lethal streak he's using is is a uh, the beetle. So I mean, most most of the kills he gets are gun kills. But I was gonna show you like 
I was just going to show you some of his gameplay because a lot of it's relevant to spawn trapping because he does get the best, keep in mind, he does get the best spot, one of the best spots uh, for spawn trapping, which is the garage. Because you get a direct line of sight on their spawn point, which is the vegetable garden. But here's the thing is, look, he tries to push up a little too fast, like a little too far, a little too fast. And here, look, and here you kind of slow to turn on there. I mean, it depends on your sensitivity. I mean, if you have low sensitivity, it can be hard to, t to t quickly turn on someone, but, uh... I would just be careful in general, especially if you use an LMG. You gotta be more cautious, and then... Yeah, then you... Yeah, you just gotta be more cautious. And then a note about the bomb site is that the blast, for some reason, is... It seems to be, like, a, it seems to be a little radius, a huge radius, so... Yeah, that's why you got killed there, but... For trapping... I don't know why you would need C4, but he's using C4. I guess because, I guess because he prestiged his MK or he's just unlocking attachments, so he doesn't have uh, that many attachments to use. I assume that's why. But uh, and generally, you, you don't you want to maybe avoid like stuff like that. Maybe use Bouncy Betty or Claymore to guard your flanks. But I mean, tax not bad. But ideally, you don't want to be dying. So that's that's why I use the shield. The, sh the shield makes sure that, well, you, you take the least amount of death as possible. It's in there, and then you, you gotta, I would recommend running a suppressor. I don't think he has silencer unlocked. But, generally, you do want to run silencer. And also, another thing about the tax is tax encourages, tax encourage aggressive gameplay. So you got, yeah, nice move by the camp god there. So the tax encourage aggressive gameplay, and I wouldn't recommend aggressive gameplay at all. Not, not even if you're using like, well, I wouldn't use an SMG first of all, but because usually aggressive gameplay equals you get killed. Yeah, see, I'd be careful like that. I would have taken out a shield there. Like if, it, if that were me, I would have taken out a shield. I would have just held in front of me, kind of just inched my way up. Because that's what you gotta do. You gotta play very strategic. See, see, we're low I'm, I'm just kind of sitting behind my shield there. I mean, camp pushing up and all, but like, I mean, he, the problem, problem with the way he's doing it is that if he, he can get garage for a little bit, but but I mean, you need you need teammates to, to hold the area. You, you, you need. Friendly K9 unit in your so like, he's got guardian there. I wouldn't recommend taking out your knife at all. Really, I do get a knife kill later this game, but. But I wouldn't recommend taking the knife out at all. It's it's bad. I mean, it's be it'd be better just to hide in a corner, reload. But anyway, guys, you see, you you'll, you'll pretty soon see why this is the best spot there is. Is because you have a direct line of sight uh, on the people spawning in there, and you can just spray right through and get bang wall bangs there. But anyway, you see that guy with wounded camp gun? You get like when you see someone come to the side really quickly like that, you want to crouch behind your shield immediately because. Chances are they already got their aim on you. So I mean, I mean you could spawn trap harder, I guess. Like if you if you had like if you if we're all running guardians and sentries and stuff, that'd be pretty interesting actually. Maybe I should try that out sometime. Extreme spawn trapping, but anyway, I typically don't wall bang that much. I'm not sure if he's running FMJ or something, but I usually run silencer and target finder. Okay, this is another reason why I don't recommend uh, pulling out your your knife because your knife oftentimes is more is more useless than trying to reload. Because I mean, sure, you, the LMG reloads take a long time, but that's also why I wouldn't deplete ever deplete your ammo count to zero. I would deplete it to maybe 20 rounds, and then just and then after that just yeah, just after that just uh, reload when you get 20 or something like that. Cause you want you want reserve ammo in your clip like that, just in case someone sneaks up on you. Mission clock about to expire. But I mean, you should reload whenever it's safe, especially if you have less than Friendly forty rounds. See, there's another reason why you need a uh, why why you need to save some ammo right there, cause people like that will sneak up on you, and you gotta be ready for that. You can't you can't let one person well, just. Rec ruin your streak just because you didn't you just need a few more rounds in your clip and you, you didn't have those and there's nothing he could have done there because he that guy was killed by 
campus care by a secondary. Something like that. So, I mean, there's nothing you can do right there. Chair, his are way too OP in this game, but whatever. So, it's spawn trapping, so I'm not really complaining that much. So, anyway, yeah, this is, this is back to my gameplay, so I have. I do get a VTOL. And you want to. I find that, yeah, running VTOL is great because you can sit right above their spawn and the spawn doesn't flip. You just. Friendly UAV inbound. Yeah, spawn doesn't flip. You. And you just get. You gotta stay above the spawn. For some reason, sometimes it flips a little bit. If, if, the, if random push too far into it, but usually we don't have that problem. But also, sometimes this gunship just moves randomly. I don't know why. I mean, I wish it would kind of just stay in the spot unless you told it to move somewhere. But unfortunately, this game doesn't work this way that way. So here we are on the other side. Yeah, we move we move up immediately. Well, not, not all the way up, but... You see, you got to be more conservative. If, if you move, rush too far up, beginning, you're going to die for streaks. You see right there? See this guy using a shield? You gotta, you gotta be very careful. I mean, I usually hang back and get my streaks first round, and then when I, uh, not necessarily when everybody's pushing up, but I get my streaks so that people can push up. Because without my streaks, people are gonna have a difficult time breaking through enemy lines, getting the streak, getting their streaks, getting to their spots. If you have an orbital or VTOL or dogs up, that helps it tremendously. I definitely recommend having like yeah, one guy camp for the streaks, while other guys are maybe letting them plan A or doing something like that the first round. You gotta do that, I mean, otherwise, otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to push up. You're gonna take a lot of deaths. Your gameplays aren't gonna be nearly as good. It's all about how you start to start the game off. You start the game off bad, you you probably finish bad. If you finish start the game off good, you're more than likely to finish good. So anyway, I just kind of sit here in this, the center of this, the map right here. Well, not well, it's kind of off to the side, but closer to the, the street. Because I'm relatively protective. They can't, they can't. If they're on the court to the right of me, between the bus and the, the moving truck, they can't see me because of the sign right there. So they'd have to turn the corner. But I have a claymore there, so they unlikely to kill me from that area. But I can see both the the alleyway right there and the garage. So it's a good spot. But but once, but uh, once our team. Plan, yeah, once our team gets their streaks and stuff, I do eventually push up into the actual backyard, usually. Usually I just push up right into that alleyway there, or I go up top. I think I get in this game, I go up top, but it really depends. Sometimes, most of the time I go to the alleyway and I just put my shield down and I put a claymore at the garage door. Yeah, by doing that... Yeah, by doing that, I can get, I get them from new angles. I mean, we have people on the bottom, we have people on top. It all works out. Right side is actually pretty good too, but if they have shotguns, EMPs, other stuff like that, it, you're gonna have a difficult time. So I do make it upstairs, and I ha I do clean them out of house because they're just camping underneath, underneath the thing there. So here they are spawning in the back, and he, you just aim for their heads of, of, of that thing. Like you can shoot through the wall there, but I mean it's best to save ammo, so I I aim for the top. Then here, yeah, you just, you gotta, again, guys, you gotta reload whenever it's safe. Like, if you have less than 40 rounds, I definitely recommend you reload once you can find a safe corner. Or pause in the action, maybe. But, if you get under 20 and you have the chance, like, it's not like, like, you, it's not necessarily like, uh, and, like, if you get to 20 rounds and it's not like there's a person right in front of you right about to kill you, you should just, you should just stop shooting your ammo and just reload. Because, I've been killed several times just by people... Like who I, I finished my clip, of, I finished my clip, and then someone disappears right around the corner, and then say like, I don't have any ammo to do, and I don't I don't have a secondary, I don't have anything except a knife to, to kill him with. So in that scenario, I'm screwed. But to avoid that, you just save save some ammo, save some reserve ammo. Unless you're pretty much, unless you're pretty safe. If you're pretty safe, like you're far you're towards the back of the map, and there's really no chance of people getting you. Then I can understand you using your full clip for reloading, but but in normal like in, in circumstances where the enemy's gonna be spawning close proximity to you, you should definitely save some ammo in each clip before you reload. 
So wait, I think they, I think they had a rage in here. Oh yeah, there's only like, I think there's only like three guys on the other team left. I don't, I don't blame them for leaving. I mean, we're, we're spawn trapping them pretty good. Orbital V sat awaiting orders. See, yeah, I only see one guy. Okay, yeah, those guys are probably watching their kill camps just to make sure they don't spawn in as quickly. Here's another. Oh, and another thing, guys. You should definitely run scavenger when spawn trapping because. I'm using, I like, I'm using scavenger right now, and I'm running kind of low in ammo, like, I, I forgot if I picked up more ammo this round, but I only have 73 rounds left, which is nothing, when it's while trapping, and I have, keep on, I have no secondary, so if I ran out of ammo, I'd have to go scavenger weapon out there, and the only weapons that are out, yeah, I'd have to go scavenger, scavenger weapon, and the only weapons that are available are the ones out there, from dead enemies, but you'll see, you'll see an epic knife kill, so you, I mean, I also recommend saving a, I mean, being like, at least 15 rounds, but just, like, like, if you're down to your last like, few rounds, save, to save them, like, hide in a corner, save them, just to get a kill off someone, and then steal that guy's weapon, but here, like, look, I get really lucky here, because, um, I don't have any ammo, and just look, like, I get the final kill cam. And it's gotta be some of the rarest footage on YouTube, guys. <laughs> Knife killing Black Ops 2. So, guys, here's the end of the round. Do you want to put your shield? I usually put my shield here. I put my shield here just because you can't see the grass head glitch. The grass head just can't see you as easily. And but the, inside the garage also works because you can see the head glitch and you can also see the alleyway over there. You definitely want. To, you definitely want to make sure. Yeah, you definitely want to kind of camp here. So yeah, I'm camping. Oh yeah, I think we all push up. Yeah, I think we're, yeah, we're running into six man here, so we all push up after, after this, and yeah, because you definitely want to push up when you get the chance, when someone gets the streaks. Yeah, don't waste your chances, guys. If you get it, if you guys have a chance to push up like early on, definitely push up, even if you don't think you're ready. I mean, when I mean have the chance, I mean if you have a streaks up, you, enemy team's weak, it's things like that. But don't don't take a, a ton of deaths just trying to get to your spot. Anyway, yeah, the the VTOL does steal a lot of kills. So I mean, if you're going for gun kills and stuff, if your team's going for gun kills, maybe you don't want to run high streaks like that. But definitely run orbital. Definitely run orbital. Maybe dogs. Just I, actually, I run dog just to get them out of buildings. So when I have my VTOL up, they can't hide from me. I find it overall an effective strategy. Yeah, Lister is also good for this map too. But the only problem is. They only spawn in one spot, and the thing circles the map, so I can't just sit above the, their spawn and get the free kills. So anyway, yeah, so... I'm just, yeah, this is just great spawning, guys. Definitely try left side out, especially if Garage is taken. You definitely get a lot of kills. Yeah, spawn trapping. Spawn trapping can be done right and can be done wrong. If you do it right, this is how this is how the enemy should see it. This is just this from an enemy perspective. You should definitely see this is what the enemy should definitely see on their screen. No, you gotta like I'm surprised they don't rage, but the, the benefit of of shield camping, spawn trapping, is that they feel like they have a chance against you. If if, if you're just doing normal spawn trapping where you're just aiming at one spawn trap thing, and as soon as they spawn, you get killed by someone laying prone with like an LMG, then that's that's not as a I'm going to say that's going to make them rage more often because they literally have no way out of a spawn trap, but they do have a way out here, but it's very hard just because we keep spraying them as soon as they spawn in. The dogs keep, the dogs are just camping their spawn. <laughs> anyway guys, yeah, I'm surprised these guys didn't rage. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video, so if you guys like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and this has been World of War, and thanks for watching.